Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today I got a nice little treat in the mail. I got me some Arena Rex models. Now these two folks come from the Legio 13th school. Uh, I don't actually own anybody from that Ludus yet. And what's interesting is Aquila here is actually part of the starter now. Uh, I don't think you can even buy him individually anymore. While Amelia, I believe, is still available. I don't think she was in the starter. But without further ado, why don't we take a look at just what I've gotten myself into this time. Alright. So, nice, sturdy, thick cards. Art doesn't exactly match up now. I think it's just the artist who, I can't remember the name, I'll put it in the description below, but I know they have done work with Kingdom Death. Most of the models are, in fact, resin usually with some metal bits in there. They have the nice Kingdom Death style art card, usually with a little blurb about that character. I do enjoy the way Arena Rex has the whole breakdown of how they, you know, risk versus reward in how you have your fighters attack, the various stats that come out because of that. Oh my goodness, sometimes, sometimes it's nicer to just have this stuff a little bit thicker. I know, artistically, it's nice to have it so thin, but I don't like it. I want my stuff to actually survive me holding it. Look at that. Okay, I think that bit is actually supposed to be there. But wait, now that I think about it... <laughs> Did somebody switch these? Did they put them in the wrong boxes? I am now wondering because this does not look like Aquila at all. <laughs> He's supposed to be wielding a sword. And I, I think the other big difference is this is a female. Okay, well, I guess I'm probably going to be contacting the manufacturer. I gotta double check who this actually is. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Okay, I'm still pretty sure. Well, it is Legio 13, so that's okay. Not a big issue. <laughs> a random one, though. All right, here we have Amelia. Hopefully we actually have Amelia. I do like their bases. Activation tokens. In case you don't know what those are. Card. Rules on the back. And let's see. That does actually look like her. That was a bit of a twist. Again, the spears, unfortunately, despite being in metal, just a little too delicate for my tastes. The resin, on the other hand, nice, sturdy, hardy, no complaints there whatsoever. So she's got a really simple construction. Can't complain there. Almost entirely one piece. Haven't had any issues with the resin that... Is it Red Republic? I believe it's Red Republic that makes Arena Rex as it is. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get her all cleaned up and get our mystery bonus character all figured out and put together as well and we'll see just what I've ended up with here, won't we? Okay, we got our Legio 13, 13th Legion guys, all well, and girls, pretty much dealt with. Uh, first off, we've got Amelia here. Like I said before, not the most difficult construction job, basically just the arm, and that was it. Nicely sculpted. They're tall. If you guys aren't really aware, they are pretty tall models. She's a little on the shorter side compared to some as well. Um, so originally, I know I had talked about how I had an issue. We had Ben Luca's model with Aquila's cards, and after a quick set of back and forth emails, we got everything all taken care of and ended up with both Aquila and Ban Luca. So, 
We'll talk about Bayan Luka first because we had her. Um, I'm not a big fan of this skirt cloak thing she's wearing. Yes, that is where it's supposed to go. Uh, no, it does not fit. Even after I heated it up trying to get it all lined up, it did not want to cooperate. And that spear, while, yeah, it makes sense that it's really thin, I mean, realistically, it just isn't working for me in metal. I'm very worried about touching it because it feels like it's going to break at any moment. And there's like a little piece of flash there. I can't even get it off because, again, for fear of taking the model apart. Watch me break it on camera. Anyway, despite that, it's a neat pose. Uh, it, it's funny that her undergarments are actually modeled onto her even though you'll never be able to see them considering the way her skirt is set up and the one that I really want to aqua here just uh yeah I had to actually pin him to the base it just there was no possible way he was going to be stable enough with that pose and it's a neat pose don't get me wrong he looks very much like a man of action here it's a really neat pose really nice sculpt it's just you're gonna have to pin it there's no other way around it uh, and it bugs me when manufacturers and sculptors do that. I mean, that shouldn't have to be on me. If you want people to play your game and use your models, you know, you should have them a little bit more sturdy, especially when you are actually using them in a game-like situation. Speaking of games, might as well grab a couple of painted gladiators. We've got some of the members, a regular size member of the Ludus Magnus, and then one of the big hefty boys, as you can see here. I mean, obviously, they're going to be the perfect scale, considering they're all from the same game. It's when you start to grab other figures that things get a little bit more interesting. I and mean, maybe it's just the basis. I'm not really sure. We saw with our Witch Hunter friend earlier, grabbing some of the other gladiators I have recently painted. Our Mermio here, Mermelo, whatever you want to call it. I see that double L from uh, R in a studio, and then we've got one of Lovecraft Designs Kickstarter exclusive gladiators. You can see the proportions on both of these models are a lot more stockier, uh, quite possibly due to the 3D printed aspect of them. Uh, you have very traditionally cast, very fine detail resin models here, and I think that you know you can kind of see the difference, but. If you had a good rule set, I don't think it's really going to matter. Now, obviously, I do intend to use these models from Legio 13 in Arena Rex. Uh, if you guys do have any other interesting Gladiator rule sets, by all means, please let me know. Put them down in the comments, not only for myself, but anybody else who out there who might be interested. Uh, it's always nice to see something new, and especially if you've got a nice, quick, fast-paced game, I would love to check it out. So again, my only real issues with these models are uh, the thinness of the blades and the lack of multiple contact points with the base. Otherwise, really solid stuff as always from Red Republic Games who make Arena Rex. So we'll put a link down below. Do check them out. Uh, we would love to see them continue the line and have new and interesting models continue to grace our tabletop. So with that said... This has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching and we'll see you back here soon. Bye bye.